and today the topic is how you can keep your market value being digitally conscious showing your worth using linkedin so and with me i have lena big Ravi, who is also an executive coach so you have two executive coach to give you advice today welcome lena thank you josephine so we will give you three advices those three advices are update ongoingly second show your worth three be digitally conscious and we'll explain these to you one example is that i have this very very competent uh, leader in my coaching practice and she has uh, been in the same company for 15 years and she's advanced you know, a lot, you know, it's a really, really good position, but she also is now looking to get some, you know, some new skills and try something new. The thing is, she hasn't updated her LinkedIn profile because everything has been going through the internal processes in the company. So she's never actually put herself out there. So that is a completely new thing for her. And she feels that is very intimidating, actually sudden to start showing the world what she can do. And she has also been a little bit nervous. What do the company think about me? Now suddenly I'm posting my, my competences on LinkedIn. So what I work with her is how to actually write her LinkedIn profile. So it actually do shows all her competences, but also making her aware that the company actually don't think it's a bad idea that she is marketing her competences on LinkedIn because the company also use LinkedIn to find their uh, new employees but also look at existing employees. Which is something that happens more and more often and yes. nowadays. I think many, many companies are using LinkedIn to recruit more than the other more old-fashioned yeah. channels. So, so update ongoingly is a challenge for many people who are in the situation as your client, yes. right? Because they haven't done it yet. Yeah. It's a huge job, no doubt about it, the first time. But when it's done, do it once a year, if not more often. And you can actually, there's a little button there you can use so you don't have to show all your network every time you update just a little thing. So you can do it in private if you want to do that. Yeah, and if it's difficult for you to show your worth, to put your qualifications and skills out there, you could get help. You could get help from an executive coach. Yes. It's kind of what we do for a living. But you can also have a friend helping you if you don't yep. want to have a professional help. And the third advice is to be digitally conscious. So the digital sphere has evolved so much for the last 10 years that it requires new kind of mindset and skills from us. Yep. One of them is to face your fears because Many people are a little reluctant to share anything on social media or they are afraid that people will not like what yes. they post. Yeah. A lot of people think that just because they post one thing, they will get a lot of response and everybody will look at them and judge them. And that is one thing that is not really happened that often in social media because you kind of drown in the whole media circus. But start off. Um, you know, quietly like an article, maybe within your professional sphere. So someone else has written a really good article that you actually like, share it or like it. And you will see that your network will actually appreciate that you share these articles because a lot of times they don't see it. And when you like it, they see it. Yeah. And don't be too obsessed about how many people who likes your post or articles or whatever you, you choose to share very often. You spend more time thinking about yourself than other people do. That is the sad <laughs> fact, <laughs> but that's just how it is. And yeah. it's something how it's a little bit liberating. So you can even use LinkedIn as a practice on not being too engaged in how many likes you get. Yeah. And I think that's a lot. What we experience in our practice is also that we might have given an advice, written an article, making a, a TV a spot. And then a year after, people say, oh, I loved your article, I loved your TV spot, it really helped me. So a lot of times you actually don't get any response, but it do help. Yeah, so just do something that you feel is aligned with who you are and your values, the, sh the competences, the skills you want to promote. That, Like, you think about your next job. What kind of job do you want? And then share something that is related to that and then see what happens. We wish you all the best and feel free to write us questions and we'd love to get a comment or a thumbs up or thumbs down from you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.